Hey everyone, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest and today I'm going to give you an update on a project I've been working on to line my driveway with winterberry. So stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. So uh, I wanted to talk about a project that I started about three years ago and uh, that project is to line my entire driveway uh, with winterberry Ilex verticillata. I did a video on Ilex verticillata uh, about a year or so ago but I want to do an update because I've made some progress and I'm really starting to see the vision of this project come to life. So this particular uh, female Ilex verticillata was the first one that I started with. Uh, as I mentioned before in another video, or you know, in case you don't know this, these are dioecious, which means there's a male and a female, uh, and you need both in order to get the, these wonderful berries. Uh, but my driveway is about 90 feet long, and if you look down through there, you know, I, the goal is to line this whole driveway with these uh, shrubs that are good for pollinators, and they also uh, are good for birds. So if you'll uh, so I have one coming in here in this in this bare spot. You can't see it right now, but uh, that will fill in next year. So as far as the male varieties, so this this particular shrub right here is is a male, and it's called uh, the cultivars Jim Dandy. So they don't get the berries on them, but you need the males in order to pollinate the females. You need uh, one male should be able to uh, pollinate. I would say around maybe 15, 10 to 15 females, and you should make sure that they're within maybe a 20 to uh, 20 foot radius. Uh, these are, you know, on a straight line, obviously, but they're, they should it should be uh, well able to pollinate all the females that I have, and I also have another male down here. So if you want, if we're gonna take a walk down here. So here, here's another uh, female. This whole this whole uh, 90 foot. Uh, border is going to be filled with these. Now, there are, earlier in the spring, I, uh, there was a, a garden center that was going out of business, and I uh, picked up three different winter berries. Hold on a minute. <laughs> All right, so a fire truck just went by. So anyway, this particular shrub was a male and female in, in one uh, container, and I, I separated the male and planted it in a different area of my yard. Uh, so this is a female. This one's really looking good. Um, I have a, a couple more in here. This little spot here you can't see. Uh, another female here. Now this particular shrub here, I have three layers going on it. You can't see them because they're under the snow. And uh, But next year I should be able to get three more plants off that. Uh, if you haven't uh, looked at my video on layering plants, I did one on hydrangeas. This, it's a technique that works really well with winterberry. And it's a real affordable way, in fact, a free way to get free plants. I'm always looking for ways to, to get free plants. Uh, so this one down here is a, from a, a cutting that I did uh, a couple years ago. It's starting to fill in. Now, another thing that I did here, uh, just in order to create a little bit of interest. So this is not a winterberry. This is an American crab apple. It's uh, Malus coronaria. So I got three of them planted here. This is going to give some height. And then uh, in the spring, it's also going to have nice scented flowers. And then it'll get a fruit too. So it'll give me a little bit of height here. So this is another little winterberry coming in. This is from another uh, cutting here. Now this spot here, I need about three more to four more plants. This is a little bare spot. So this is one of the, this is one of the male and females I got at the uh, garden center that was going out of business. Now this is another male here this section. So I have the male up there and I have the male here. These should provide me with enough pollination to get the berries on the females and uh, and, uh, and I have a couple in a couple other areas of my yard because I want to start working winter berries in there. Now one exciting thing about these plants is that uh, they are good for birds and I had my first confirmation uh, about two weeks ago of uh, some birds eating these berries. I had bluebirds out here and I also had house finches and that was really exciting. And, uh, you know, I've been working from home this year and I uh, haven't actually ever seen birds eating it, but I had the confirmation that they were eating it. And it was really made me excited and I'm really even more enthusiastic to get this project done. So this whole next area, I need uh, probably eight or nine more plants. I have one more down here. I have one more here and then I have a couple little uh, suckers 
or not suckers, but cuttings that are that are growing in, but you really can't see them because of the snow. So it's really starting to take shape. I'm excited about how it's starting to look. I, I can start to see, you know, the I can actually start to see it coming to life, and uh, I'm really excited about it. So I would definitely highly recommend winterberry. It's Ilex verticillata. It's a popular plant. You can find them in a lot of retail nurseries or online garden centers. So uh, give it a try. Uh, the berries look beautiful, especially when there's snow on the ground. To me, it's almost like nature's Christmas lights. So if you really want to brighten up your garden in the wintertime when a lot, there's not a lot of color, you know, look for plants that produce berries. But even more importantly, you know, look for native plants because native plants, uh, you know, they have the resources that wildlife need in order to make it through these harsh winters. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll do another one as this thing progresses over the next couple of years. And, uh, you know, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. This is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest. Have a great day. Goodbye.